I'm Steve, and this is This Week with Cars. A few miles away from me on a farmhouse surrounded by cornfields, I found an important part to Jaguar's history that's been sitting in this trailer for the last 20 years, but it's not a Jaguar. This is a race car that was owned by Jaguar executive Michael Dale. This car was built between 1971 and early 1972. Now around that time, Michael Dale was VP of marketing at BMC here in North America. He was the one that supplied Group 44 and Bob Tullius with all the cars that he used to race. Now if you're not familiar with Group 44, they're one of the most successful American racing teams in history. They're very famous for racing Jaguars for many years. Michael Dale was one of the last Jaguar executives to have worked under Sir William Lyons, the founder of Jaguar. He later went on to become the CEO and president of Jaguar. Let's take a closer look at this car. All of Group 44 secrets aren't going to be revealed today, but hopefully in coming videos we can all discover them together. Michael Dale retired from Jaguar in the year 2000 and one of his favorite accomplishments was his 1973 national class win which was done in this car. This car was raced continually from 1972 until 1992. As you can see it has accumulated five SCCA logbooks. <laughs> Looking through the logbook you can see Michael Dale did tons of races with this car. In fact I think the entire first logbook is all races that he did through the years. Here we're into the second logbook already. There's some pictures of the car. So first race in this logbook was 1974. So here's a couple pictures. This is uh, the pictures that were taken for the logbook in 74. As with most American race cars, it's very spartan inside this car. A bulkhead had to be fitted to separate the fuel cell, which is located in the trunk, from the driver's area. Let's take a look under the bonnet. I'm sure being a VP at BMC had its perks, and this car is equipped with a Huffaker built BMC competition engine. The single master cylinder has been replaced with triple master cylinders. Down in front of the engine, you can see a cross member there that was used to stiffen the car up. Luckily, this car still retains its period look from when it was new. If you'd like to see me get this car running again and back on track, comment below and click subscribe. 